Alrighty, I uh, really don't want to blur this all the time, so we do it like that. It's super trippy. <laughs> All right, so I do a lot of commissioned murals, which requires me to basically bring my art studio to wherever my client is. So earlier this year, I decided to build a studio on wheels, which is essentially a fancy way of saying I screwed a whole lot of plywood into the trunk of my car so I can just have everything a little bit more organized. So I'm not going into detail about that right now. I made an entire video about that. It's pretty cool. I'll show the entire build from my first thoughts to actually building the whole thing. Uh, the construction served me very well over the summer. But today we want to take a look at what's actually in this construction. So I'm going to show you all the tools I carry around every day to paint almost all my commissions. Alrighty, so let's go unpack the car. that is not permanently in my trunk. And that is mainly painting supplies. Second thing that's always in there, I use it all the time, it's my portable ladder. That thing is super heavy, but super useful if you are painting murals. So I'm getting asked a lot about this specific ladder. This is the Altrex TL Smarter Pro. This is my electric sander. Um, Technically, you don't need that when you want to paint murals, but since I'm doing a lot of electric box painting, I just have to send them up front before I can even start putting any primer on them. So I've got this thing in my car almost all the time. Super cool tool, very reliable. It's the Fest tool, uh, ETSC 125. The tiny pink sensor cap. Uh, it's a pretty cool tool. I made the hole a little bit wider here. I was just not happy with how much paint came through this. And the way it works is you take any can and you just push it on here. You add your cap up top here. And when you press the cap, it'll only allow a certain amount of paint to come right through here. And the surplus of paint it's going into this little reservoir right in there and when you're done you can open up the bottom let's see and then you can just pour it all out and you're good to go again okay I've been trying out the crew line stencil cap I'm not sure I think a little part broke off this is your reservoir here so it's a little different you screw that on and then you put it on your can like this. It's not as bulky as the tiny pink stencil cap. If you have this around your can, it's pretty, it's a weird feeling. Like you have, really have to get used to it to spray paint with it like that. This is basically, you're holding the can like you would always do. I don't have a favorite here yet, to be honest. I got a bunch of different caps. Always ready to go in a little container. Uh, I got a variety of different tapes, masking tapes, a few spare filters for my respirator. I got this box here, which holds knives and brushes and markers and cans and a few tools, you never know, scissors. And that's something here I only use occasionally. That's a chalk box. You can use that to bring a grid onto a wall. And then this is just it's just spare chalk. Of course, you gotta have a little bits and pieces box. It's just stuff to clean and, I don't know, mix paint. Just a few spare things, whatever you can think of. I'm always carrying a roll of paper to cover off things that should better not be painted. I have this extension for my roller. I've got a lever right here. I've got a little brush. 
That is pretty handy too. It's actually used to remove wallpapers from a wall. It's pretty much a very broad scraper. I use it to make straight lines. That's a tip from Smo, by the way. All right, little color mixing palette for painting details with a brush. So this is a foldable dolly, pretty useful. So super cool to just stack all of those boxes on here. Useful when you have to walk a few meters to wherever your wall is. Always in the car, respirator of course. So probably change out the filters here very soon. For the summertime, you should always bring sunscreen. Foldable chair, sometimes you gotta have a break. Those things, they go into my pants. Allows me to knee and not totally up my knees. A bunch of gloves. I'm always wearing gloves when I paint. Yellow West, um, working in public, in traffic sometimes. And really don't want to get run over, you know. So that's pretty cool, new addition to my outfit. That goes onto my belt and holds a few different caps and also cutters and knives and, and also some business cards as well. As people are always asking for business cards, I, I'm trying to keep them on me at all times. On the passenger seat, I keep my Jackery, which is basically a giant power bank. It charges all my batteries for my cameras whenever I'm filming. And right next to it is my camera bag. I got my drone in here. I got filters in here. I got some GoPro stuff. The GoPro is actually filming right there now. I got a few more cables in here. This is pretty empty right now, to be honest. And I usually have some drop cloth, old carpet, something like that. Mostly using that for painting electric boxes. Uh, helps to keep the ground clean and everybody happy. All right, so that's it. That is all I carry around to do my mirror commissions. And because I want to give you a proper list, let's go through it real quick again. Well, most importantly, if you want to paint murals, you got to bring paint. Electric sander. Foldable ladder. Extension for your roller. A level. Broom. Wallpaper scraper. A roll of paper to cover things you don't want to paint. A color mixing palette. A foldable dolly. A foldable chair. A piece of old carpet to protect the floor. A good respirator. Sunscreen. A yellow vest. Knee protection. A ton of gloves. A hip bag with caps, knives and business cards. The biggest power bank you can get. A lot of different caps. A lot of different tape. Markers, brushes, scissors, cutters, a chalk box, tiny pink stencil cap, crew line stencil cap, a color chart, acetone, varnish, garbage bags, brushes and rollers, stuff to clean and prep your surface, and of course, a camera bag. I mean, if you plan to film your painting session. All right, there you have it. This is all I bring to basically any commission or any painting session I'm going to. And the majority of this stuff lives right here in the trunk of my car. Like I said, I made a whole video about building this thing here. Go check it out if you haven't and let me know what you think. I wanted to include a few thoughts on what I would do differently if I had to build this thing again. First is I would probably make it a way lighter. This entire setup is super heavy, Then plus the entire stuff that goes in and above it. Um, there's really a lot of weight added to my car. So I would use way thinner plywood. I would probably make those drawers here solid. Uh, as you can see, they have gaps in them. It's basically just a mesh. 
Is that called a mash? I don't know. You know what I mean. Uh, so sometimes small, tiny little things like this end up in here. I'm really struggling to pull the drawer out of its tray. Yeah, so if I had to build again, I would totally find another spot for my battery and my electric supplies somewhere in here, maybe accessible from the side, I don't know. But I really don't like to have it flying around on my passenger seat all the time. Same goes for my camera bag. That also just sits here on my passenger seat when I'm out and painting. Uh, that's fine, but this should have a separate spot. And one thing I will do is I will put an extra barrier up here. All right, so that's it. There you have it. This is all the stuff I use. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna get down my GoPro from there. It's filming. I don't even know if I'm gonna use the footage uh, because I couldn't see. I couldn't see what I'm actually filming down here. So I'm gonna pack up all my stuff now and I'm out of here. See you soon.